Let's unbox BenQ Leda's Pro Design Display PD3205U that also happens to be the world first Pantone skin tone validated display. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Let's find out what comes in a box for this PD3205U. I'll set it up and give you my impression of it. This is the upgrade to the PD3200U. So it's the one that comes before it. BenQ have upgraded to a few things. This one now have USB-C, so it's only one singular cable, which makes it really awesome. It is also 99% sRGB and also 99% Rec. 709. Like with all PD and SW display from BenQ, you do get this individual calibration report, which is the card that you get here. This is telling you that this display is CalMAN verified. It's also Pantone validated. And like I said, this is also the very first display model to get a Pantone skin tone validation. This along with the siblings of it, the smaller one, the 2705U. So we can see that the average Delta E for this display is really amazing. Calibrated from factory, the average Delta E is 0.22. I mean, that's extremely low. Anytime you get a Delta E value below two, that's fantastic. This one is just really amazing. All right. Beyond that, peeling the onion layer, what we get is a few things. So we have the cover for the back again. So this is so that you can cover the ports on the back. Once you have the display link up, you still get the hotkey puck gen two, which is great. If you haven't seen this one before, they're pretty much the same as all other BenQ SW models. You can see that right here um, in the screen right now. All right, we'll put this back into the box. In addition to that, you get a few things. So we have a full display port to display port cable. This is a change, I would say, because normally you get a mini display port to display port, but this one is a full display port to display port. That's always great to see. You have a HDMI to HDMI and also USB-C to USB-C along with a quick start guide. Uh, there's no software, no disk anymore. Pretty much this is just a quick start guide. If you want any software, for example, Display Pilot, which now works on M1 computers, by the way, which is really awesome, you would download that directly from BenQ website. A couple of other things you get here is a USB uplink cable. So it's a USB Type A to USB Type B 3.0 uplink cable. You also get a power cord that comes with the display and also the base. So the way how they have redesigned this base is really neat actually. You get this base that's similar to the PD3220U. However, it is covered in BenQ branding. It is plastic on top of a very heavy, sturdy aluminum. So always what you're gonna get with these displays are really sturdy stands in general. All right, let's put the base on the table and continue on down the layer and see what we have. So this is the panel, but before we get to the panel, what I want to do is kind of set up the stand a little bit. This is the boom. So the boom follows really closely to the PD3220U design. This one is a little bit different where it's not a, you know, strictly aluminum speaking, it is a plastic cover, but it is a darker plastic and it feels really nice in the hand. I mean, it doesn't feel like plastic or anything at all. What I'm gonna do now is link these two up, simply just mount them like so screw the bottom in and that's pretty much how you set up the stand which is really quick very easy and it just ties in like so you can just hand tight this i mean it's fine it's sturdy it's not going anywhere i'll leave this on the table for now and lastly what we are going to do is pull out the 3205u all right so picking that up So a couple of things about the 3205U before I take this fully out of box and set it up. You still get the two USB ports on the side. One of them is a USB Type-C, the other one is a USB Type-A. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack out. The design is very similar to the PD3220U. For example, you have the power button, you have the joystick there, and you also have these two extra control buttons. These are the switch on the back and they talk about like the KVM pairing. So you can do KVM on here. And the way how this is paired is the USB uplink one correspond to display port. USB uplink two corresponds to HDMI. So if you want to use the display function as a KVM, they make that much easier now. This is compatible with VESA 100 by 100 mount. And you can just simply use it on BenQ stands if you like. So that's also another option. Okay, so we're going to pull this panel out. 
and we're gonna mount this on the stand. Oh, one thing about this panel you can see right now is that it's three side infinity edge, so you still get sightly like the bezel on the bottom, and I think these buttons do light up or to tell you the functionality, what's happening. So it does look like that. We'll take a look when we set this fully up, so. Okay, so we have the stand that I have assembled, and what I'm gonna do is kind of show you this from a side angle like this. This way you see how this is going on the display. So what you would simply do is pick up the panel, be careful with it, swing it around, latch it at the very top, just like so, coming in at an angle, and pretty much this just snap into place, just like that. It's very simple to put this together. Like I said, the overall design of this is very similar to the PD3220U, although that one is all aluminum. This one is a little bit more like the plastic injection molding, but I don't really mind that at all. The movement operation, you still get the up down, it's still smooth, you can still rotate the display. Although you may have to angle it out a little bit because the angle can be a little bit tight, but you can certainly do that. And as I mentioned before, on the right side of the display, you get a USB-C, USB-A, and also a headphone out jack, which is really nice. So depending on some type of connection to use, you'll be able to transfer sound with it. Some may not be able to transfer sound really well. Obviously, this will depend on the computer you have. So let's set this up, link it up to my 16-inch MacBook Pro, and we'll take a quick peek at it, and I'll give you what it, my initial impressions once I turn this on. During the setup, I decided to link up my Mac Studio to the PD3205U instead of a 16-inch MacBook Pro. This is using USB Type-C, so one cable will pretty much do everything. Carry the display signal to I.O., and if you want to use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, it will also carry the audio signal over that one singular cable too, which is really great. Now, the other reason why I wanted to link this up is to show you the different colors. For instance, this is a silver aluminum. My 16-inch MacBook Pro is a space gray aluminum, and you have the dark gray for the BenQ PD3205U. I think that overall, it blends in fairly nicely. Obviously, it's not going to be the same match color, but the way how BenQ have created these PD and SW display line is so that the design of the display, the colors, everything's just blend in the background. And what you get is an immersive experience in your creative workflow, what you're doing. It has infinity edge on all three sides. There is a slight bezel on the bottom, which I think is okay. The color is really dark and subdued. It doesn't reflect a lot in your environment. It's pretty much a very unassuming display, but it can show really great colors. Obviously, BenQ have calibrated this, and this right now is linked using sRGB color mode. If I go into color mode right now, I can see the different ones that are available. For instance, there's a joystick on the back, which I'm using, and yes, it does come with a hotkey puck, although I don't have that link up at the moment. So there's sRGB, Rec 709, MBook, CAD Cam, Animation, Lobo Light, Dark Room, user and the DICOM mode. In sRGB, you notice when I go into, for instance, another user mode, it becomes brighter. sRGB, BenQ did tune the brightness down from the factory, and it's even a little bit darker in Rec. 9 which I think it's a move in the right direction, so you don't get a display that is really bright when you try to link it up to your system. Obviously, I still recommend that you go in and run a calibration on the display, and during the full review, we'll be doing a calibration test, uniformity test, and all those other things too. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. One more thing I want to share about this display, along with the smaller sibling PD2705U, is that they are both world-first Pantone skin tone validated display. In order to achieve this, BenQ have to send the display into Pantone for them to test and validate the display. I've talked about Pantone validation before, which guarantees that the display can reproduce Pantone color faithfully and accurately. What Pantone have done is create another set of validation that's even stricter than the original Pantone validation, and that is called Pantone Skin Tone Validation, and it's all based on this Pantone Skin Tone guide that you're seeing right now. Obviously, there are minor minutia changes in color for skin complexion, and as I mentioned, this is a validation that's even more stricter than the Pantone one that have come before it. And these display pass just fine. In fact, BenQ have also submitted some of their other PDs and SW display for Pantone skin tone validation and have received that too. This just tells you the color accuracy that you can get out of BenQ PD and SW line or what BenQ called their AccuColor display in general. But anyway, I'm going to leave all the information just right here for now. 
I'll do a full review of this display. Like I said, we'll calibrate it. We'll do a, a uniformity test, all the above. I'll talk about this display more to functionality. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comment, you want to know any specific aspect about this display when I do the full review, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe, and hit on the bell you're new, and in our trust.